special effects show here at Universal Studios Hollywood! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Hey, you guys, I'm Mr. Hill, tonight. You will get a behind the scenes peek into how we make movie magic. You already know the word movie is a nickname for movie pictures, and in the early days of filming, it must have truly seemed like magic. In the late 1800s, the Pettibone Brothers Manufacturing Company began producing magic lanterns like this one, which were widely used by traveling showmen for projecting images onto white backdrops. Just so long, the magic of that must have been like sitting in a darkened tent. Suddenly, the white backdrop is revealed and illuminated with a single image. Then, when it's seen in the right light, the right order, and the right speed, that image came to life. Like that. Because we're wearing nice pants. Oh. 
<laughs> you may not recognize their faces, but I guarantee you'll see their work in countless television and film productions, oftentimes doubling for some of your favorite celebrities. Let me give you a quick introduction. Over here, we have Julia Elizabeth. This is Jay Huerto. It's a little clumsy there, Ryan. You gotta hang on to that. Yeah, well, it's their equipment, you gotta take care of it. And that is Rock Mark of our stunt coordinator. Let's give them all a round of applause. Fantastic to see you guys. Rock, I gotta ask, is it true stunt performers like you guys almost always double for actors when it comes to fight scenes? Yes, actors don't like getting hit in the face. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hit in the face? Yeah. Like this. Oh! Oh, is he okay? I don't know. He okay? I'm okay! <laughs> when it comes to staging a fight, the art of illusion is very important. The moves need to be realistic enough to fool the camera without injuring anyone. Then it's up to the stunt performers to make them look believable. Let me set the scene. Exterior, a dark alley, dead of night. Two nefarious characters have picked the wrong woman to mess with. Ready and action! Not me. after they're done filming, but do you know its origins? Jack Foley wore many hats, assigned the movie director, writer of westerns, even a stunt double. But when he started doing sound effects for Universal back in the 20s, that's when he really made a name for himself. For over 30 years, Foley worked in Soundstage 10, right here on the Universal lot. And if he couldn't recreate a sound effect in the soundstage, he just got it live. Inventing a technique called direct-to-picture, Foley and his small crew would record all of the sound effects for a finished movie in one take. The synchronization with the movements of the film had to be perfect because one mistake, and they started over from the very beginning. Here to help show us the art of Foley, give it up for our first volunteer! From San Luis Obispo, San Luis Martinez family! Yeah. Yeah. Martinez family, all the way from California. Thanks for making that trip in today. We're going to help demonstrate how the simple items on this table can be repurposed to sound like something completely different than what you might think. For example, in Foley, a water bottle could be used to articulate the sounds of breaking bones. Something like this. Check it out. You kids can try that at home. Parents love it. <laughs> Alright, let's see what they have to Foley. It's from the movie Identity Thief, starring Jason Bateman and Melissa McCarthy. Now while you watch this split screen, keep one eye on the scene itself, but make sure you look right next to it at the Universal Foley Artists Art at Work. Check it out. Now I have a plan. <laughs> 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 Just like that, piece of cake. Right on, guys? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Quick recap of the sound effects so everybody's caught up to speed. Andre says these two at the end, the crash box filled with loud items. When he spins this, it's going to simulate the crash sounds under the bookshelf and over the chair. He also has some shoes, boots, and sticks for the running in the scene there. Taya has rolled up paper wrapped tightly in tape and a cutting board for the body falls onto the ground, right? Boxing gloves on sticks for uh, Aria and the throat punch and the face max. And then last but not least, Jenna with the cowbell and the mallet for that panini hit to the back as she runs away. And this is where it gets a little crazy, really use your imaginations because these handcuffs are gonna make the sound of handcuffs. <laughs> yeah, get ready. Speaking of ready, Martinez family, you look ready. You wanna give it a shot? I love it. You're ready. I know my booth is ready, so let's do it. Roll sound. Sounds meeting and action. Nicely done! Way to go! Right this way, follow me. Nice. 
Now I'm bad, right? Like I'm comes our favorite part. We're gonna take the actual dialogue and music from the scene and now lay over their fully track we just recorded live. And I'll see if I need to grab you all some applications, right? So yeah, let's line up right about here. Perfect. Turn around, everyone check out these side screens and let's take a listen. Brought to you by the Martinez family. Get over here and give me your wrist. Okay? Now I have a plan. <laughs> Here we go, ready? 
Congratulations. Give her a big round of applause. Good job, brother. Okay, Matt. Matt and Michael Myers. That is why he has my friends. We've seen a lot of great practical effects. We're going to switch gears and take a look at some very cool visual effects. Any special effect created using a computer. Now we can demonstrate motion capture or mocap. Please welcome back my co host, Ryan! Yeah, this is happening. I'm sorry. Not the best way to start off your new year, I know. <laughs> you look nice. Thank you so much, Chris. We should hurry up. We should, okay. absolutely. All right, uh, can we bring up our perimeter sensors, please? The markers on my suit reflect light back to these perimeter sensors, where their movement will be captured using our computer. <laughs> oh, hello, children. <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. Great. Not good teams anymore, are they? All right. <laughs> All right, now uh, you ready to do this? Yeah. All right, you said capture on the screen, please. Excellent. So the mouse on the screen is translated into this digital skeleton. This is what the computer reads and records for us in real time. Your favorite parts out of the side. Where we start with the T-Bugs to signal the beginning of a tape. That way our editors won't go away and say, oh, what are you doing? All right, man, this suit is tight. <laughs> we know this. Okay, cool! <laughs> Give me both sides twice, nice and slow. This is how we calibrate our system to make sure we have a good connection between suit sensor and computers. That looks great. Uh, yeah, if you're done, you can push your arms down, but I need constant movement. Now, big movement. I want like uh, jumping jacks, jog in place, stuff like that. Okay? Yeah, uh, Using Ryan's capture movements, animators can manipulate the digital skeleton. They can play with the aspect ratio. Apply a wireframe. Finish it off with digital skins. They can turn Ryan into whatever they want. Today, buddy, they have turned you into a lovable, huggable teddy bear. Oh, cool. Okay. All right. Hey, what's up, I'm a bear? Okay, you're not just any bear. You are Ted from Universal Stage. Hey, okay. Larry, you got music? Oh, I got the answer with Perfect. Okay. Taylor, you're going to Ted. We're going to All right. Sure, we got some more. How about this? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah let's see them all. Say hey, what? Hey, what? That's why I watch these things. It's like a pool behind the scenes thing that you wouldn't know. Thunder Buddy's Ted? Thunder Buddy's for life. Aww. You made a Thunder Buddy. That's Ted. That's Ryan. Give him a big round of applause. Okay. All right, I'm going to get ready for the finale. Oh. But I need a minute. i got to psych myself up. Okay, take two minutes to just make sure you change. Okay. Fun fact, Seth McFarlane had a modified mocap suit built by Phil Tippett Studios so you can actually write at the same time. Let's take a look at the genius behind Ted in action. We were able to do Ted in a completely lifelike way and to use technology in a way that, that it really hasn't been used to date. What that technology does so well is it takes fantastical characters and makes them as realistic in movement as possible. Funny stuff. But as far as technology has come with visual effects and CGI, some things still look better. But they're real, like fire. Well, let's take a look at some fire stuff from Universal Films. <laughs> One of the most exciting yet most dangerous aspects of filmmaking, without a doubt, is a fire stunt. We're going to bring our top-notch stunt department back out here to show you guys how to execute a live fire burn. Here they come, the woman in the middle, that is Julia Elizabeth. She is the stunt performer who is about to be set on fire. She's joined by Jay Huerto and our stunt coordinator, Rock Martin, who will be acting as her safety. As you can see, Julia 
Hollywood is applying something to her face. It is not the latest Hollywood beauty cream. It's a protective fire gel that she applies to all of her exposed skin. You probably know how comfortable it is that this is spot with sunblock. Well, imagine what it must feel like when this is spot when you're on fire. Safety is your standing by the fire extinguisher in case of early injury. Upon completion of the burn, Julia will be down to this fire blanket where she will be extinguished at this point. We're looking for thumbs up that she's okay, thumbs down is a sign to get our medical team involved. Also, an excellent time for me to point out that these are trained stunt professionals using specialized equipment. This is not the type of thing anyone should ever think about trying on their own. Looks like Julia's just wearing her jeans and a shirt. The truth, she has the safety layers that give her some added protection. Nothing is going to make her fireproof. But each layer buys her time when she needs it the most. We're hoping she can burn for about eight to ten seconds today. That's our goal for this shot. I think we're ready to go. Let's take our lights down, set our clock to zero. At this time, we ask that everyone please remain seated for the duration of this stunt. Stunt team, whenever you're ready. Thank you. Jay, ready? Ready. Julia? Ready to burn? Ready. Ready and action. Fighting. Right. Do it. Yeah, I'm going to go to the bathroom. 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 I'm going